Well, good evening, folks, or good morning, depending on, <clears throat> I guess it's up to you to, to download the show and listen to it at your own leisure at uh, either the morning time, nighttime, mm -hmm. good what have you. Uh, it's another beautiful night here, to, or morning, you know? Or afternoon. Or, and it could be shitty out. I don't know. And just like that, after a extended hiatus, we are finally back. And my bad. A lot of things got in the way, but I am the world's worst procrastinator when it comes right down to it. I could have made time for this, and I screwed up royally on that end. But I do have to make a few changes because things got a bit exhausting. So in regards to wrestling as a whole, we're only now going to be covering things that are good good because as i mentioned before at the start of this whole thing i am in no way out to be a critic for saying what's bad however just mainly because i want to have a future in this type of work and where would the green rookie be if he just starts trashing people I mean, that's just... I'm just burning bridges before I even approach the city at that point. If that's even a phrase or not, who knows. But we're only going to be covering things that appeal to me. Because, quite frankly, I'm sure that many of you can agree, it has... While there has been a lot of content out there, not all of it has been enjoyable. And, unfortunately... We're going to just proceed on with that moving forward. Covering a whole bunch of things still. You're still going to be able to hear my annoying voice before we, before we get to those clips. But that's going to be the new format, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and enjoy a little bit of catching up here. And some old but good content of clips that I was man that I managed to just collect over the past couple weeks. So I'll be seeing you guys around. But with that being said, most importantly, for that hiatus. I'm so sorry, man. So currently right now recording this in the worst possible way, considering that I spent a stupid amount on recording equipment. But realizing the biggest flaw in that I'm a natural procrastinator And generally When it comes down to me sitting in front of the proper equipment It never gets done the way that I want it to So I'm doing this right now off of my phone In the car While driving to go Do one of the many things that Occupies my time I've been wanting to reformat this show for a while and maybe get a little bit more of me in there and a little bit more of my life in there. I'm not quite too sure if that's going to be enjoyable by many people, but I want to give it a shot at least to get it out there for once. <clears throat> for those who know me on a bit of a personal level, you may know that my older brother whose name I don't feel comfortable giving out, has been incarcerated for some time. And he is running, receiving some more luck on his end, considering the fact that things can, things can be going much more worse for him at the moment. He is possibly due to be released soon, if not likely be in a halfway house within the next few weeks. And I kind of want to get his story out there, being somebody that both me and him grew up in similar situations. We both we have different dads, same mom, um, but I mean, just with the four years of his life different than mine and his upbringing from birth to me being in his life, that was pretty interesting. I mean, his dad was 
a good father, but unfortunately taken way too soon from him, as he died when he was four, three years old, I think, so not much, not much of a presence for his biological father at the time, but that's kind of where things got a little bit different. Aside from that, we both had, again, similar upbringings. My dad raised him for that time on, and for some reason, my older brother just didn't click into society. At around middle school, he started uh, diving into the world of drugs when heroin came in our school's came in came into our came into our schools and since around the age of middle school he's been on the bad side of just the law i guess if you want to say it that he's been in prison a few times been incarcerated overall for quite a number of times and he seems to adapt to it pretty well but I want to kind of get into his head a little bit more because if anybody deserves to have their life talked about and if anybody's life would be interesting it's definitely his over mine at least how I feel so I'm gonna see if I can get into his brain whenever I can whenever he gets out whenever I get a moment to speak to him and see where we can go from there but this is just a random blurb that'll hopefully make its way into the podcast if I remember to add this on the most recent episode. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, everybody. This is the Sick Cast. We're back. As mentioned before, this is broken apart into like three different segments, honestly. So figure it out. But... We're back in the loop. And as always, we're just going to be covering a lot of subjects, most of them just being from the world of wrestling and just random current events. And my favorite, of course, just whatever clips I've been able to gather. Now, it seems that with California being on fire a couple weeks back, a couple months, honestly, now, it seems like Australia has been having a competition with us and there you have been having insane amount of fires over there good luck to them but thankfully with most of them living on the coast they should be fine of course we've probably all seen the horrible videos of koalas on fire and asking for water but here's going out to them and my friends over there i did actually just want to go over some things that did catch my interest as far as this current events and news now In regards to one of my favorite things, comedy in general, I just can't wait for the fact that we are actually going to be able to enjoy a world where Eddie is going to be back. SNL was great with him in that season recap for a season finale with SNL. And in terms of comedy, right now has been the best that it's been in a while. If you haven't already checked it out, Go check out Dan Soder's recently released special, Son of a Gary. Dan Soder, great guy, a fan of the wrestling world as well. Not like one of the many comedians that just trashes this world. But check it out on HBO. Sign up. Check it out. Cancel your subscription. He's still going to get the attention for that. Great special. Expect more episodes on a frequent basis. Weekly basis? I don't know bi-weekly maybe uh but i'll for sure keep you guys in the loop subscribe and you'll be sure not to miss a single episode i'll see you guys around take care and enjoy some very very offensive comedy in the next couple minutes give me what i want i'm the king that's not what i want justice for juicy shut up you spare <laughs> Gio, no say the end word yeah. Gio. shut that bitch man <laughs> I'm gonna mush your motherfucking face. Shit, motherfucker, I saw it. We're doing our hot air balloon race to protest Sharia law. I just, yeah. I just love balloons and I love ketamine. <laughs> How do you know, bitch? Oh my! Oh Jesus!
loser. He's fat. Chewbacca's going to enjoy a foot long in jail. Yeah, dude, he got snacked. Suck it. <laughs> weed, though. I could watch porn all day long. Don't touch my fucking nips. It's weird. Like Uncle Home. <laughs> Get out of my store. Come and say what's up. Come say what's up. What's up, baby? Godfrey. What's up, baby boy? Long time no see, How are dude. You, sir? Oh, no. Thank God it was not open. <laughs> What's up, dudes? David, David tells about to come in, so we're going to kick oh, you out in so a minute. Fresh. But uh, we that's fucking sick. we love you, and uh, uh, thank you, man. You, you last time I show? saw Godfrey, it was outside of Sirius. He was appalled that the video had resurfaced to me and you making out. Oh yeah, he's not happy about that. <laughs> that he, was not, he was uncomfortable. It took him a while to shake my hand. <laughs> wow. Very weird. He won't even hide it. Like right now, he said, "Nah, it's nasty." <laughs> but, well, but he held. But firm you got to do guns. what you got to do, man. He held firm to his guns. I asked this. If you got the ultimate role, if you got the ultimate role, yeah. And something, but it required you playing like a gay character, and you're gonna have to like kiss a guy. No, you, said you wouldn't do it. I, I'm not that good of an actor. You know, by the time they do black <laughs> pants, I've studied would, a would lot. Would you of have a problem if they did it with computers afterwards? Like they put it in post. Yeah, like you just make it, <laughs> but if you really just give it some people will still, <laughs> yeah. still see it. And it you just got to take, yeah, you gotta take one picture. Nah, with nah, nah, nah. Uh, Everyone thinks you made no. out with the dude. No, nah. didn't. Mm, and I'm not even a homophobe, but I just can't do that. I, I love. You're, you're opening I'm a heterosexual, 100. percent You're opening yourself up to all of our fans now making, uh, taking gay porn Deep clips fakes. and putting your face onto it. <laughs> <laughs> you that is 100 percent happening as we speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, now that, <laughs> sure, now that Jay said it, fucking it's assholes, it will be hilarious. <laughs> yo, God, what's good, man? <laughs> yeah. what the fuck is going on? Well, yo? No one's gonna think it's yeah, actually you, but it'll be son. funny. We're about to oh, get shit, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The blacks are getting, getting into a black and black crime. Fucking delay, son. This is what you said. This was Yo, man, you sure heard about Malik. Podcasts. You know Malik Yoba? You remember Malik, Malik Yoba? He likes yeah. trans. He likes yeah, he likes trans. Pussy. He like he like Badusi, he's, man. He's New York undercover. He's, he's, trans. Trans. he's, he's, out, he's out of the cover He tries now. to say it so, uh, so matter-of-factly, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, he's like, yeah, I'm in the Chicks with Dicks. I'm going to be at a rally next week. Wait, who is this? I've sucked a bunch. And then if you remember one of my favorite roles. Who is this person? What? Who is Malik Yoba. He was not the guy, not the Spanish guy from head of the class in New York Undercover. Mm-hmm. Hence, yeah. uh, Nick's joke. Okay. Yeah. So. New York, New York Undercover. He was uh, in Cool Runnings. He was. If you ever saw Cool Runnings, you'll you'll bring up Cool Runnings. Great. And movie. he's in he's in uh, Empire. He's a different. He's a he's just been different shit. He wasn't a great friend movie. of mine. Well, no, but for the time, <laughs> friend of mine. Good I'm not guy. saying he was like a great. He's like a cool tough, Runnings. He's like a he's Godfather. like a masculine dude, like a tough like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, for sure. Oh, I know who this guy. Yeah. Like Luke Cage. Yeah. Whatever. I like to suck butts. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Give me a fine ass boy. I'll suck a shit right out of his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, so. Uh, that's. Sure. Um, yeah, man, but. uh, Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Did you know Malik Yoba? I know him well. I was going to say, I feel like, yeah. You didn't know him. I know him and know? Mike. They're both of them from New York Undercover. Yeah. Yeah. That was Did you know that? Show. Great show. You Did can't you know find that information it about him? No, until. It wasn't like that. We like have the same manager. Yeah. Nah. Still. Still. Are you questioning your manager now? No. <laughs> Get rid of a black guy. <laughs> All you got to do is pull up. Should we tell him that it's too late if you stay here for 10 seconds? What is you there are a gay? green screen for? Um, That's Kumia's uh, oh, We were going to put us in more of a sexy setting. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, uh, we uh, in, when it was the finished product, it's just us in a giant uh, wine glass bathtub. <laughs> okay, just kissing each other. Godfrey deeply. really does uh, have a uh, weirdness with gays and white people, and you I think? really admire him for both. <laughs> for I both, swear, like you ever just hear him talk about white people, it's great. It's refreshing. No, I love it. I it's. it's He's unapologetically racist. <laughs> yeah, it's great. No, he's not. Uh, I don't think he's racist at all. He's uh, with the gay thing. It's, I don't think he has any problem with gay people. It's, it's the just, concept. It's just the thing they do that makes them gay. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's it. He doesn't so, like gay if they sex. Did, if they did everything except <laughs> <laughs> no problem. With it. 
<laughs> right up to it, including hugging. Yes. Yeah. But that is where it stops, my friend. Yeah. They start doing anything more than hugging. It's got to be a bro hug, like a yeah. quick boner. Oh, yeah, you can't hug like boner to boner. You yeah. can't go kissing dick holes. You have to, like, go side to side. Thank you. Are you bringing in the hot couple to sit here? You bring the hot couple in, and they can sit. Are you bringing in a folding chair? Are we having a death match? Can I have a coffee? Did you hear that? Did anybody no. hear that? Someone get Nick a coffee. I feel like that these was... fucking interns are falling apart. You don't mean that. They are. No, you don't mean that. <laughs> the couple don't want to stay in here? All right, well, then fuck it. Bring yeah. in... You know what? They were too hot for bring us. Bring in the autistic guy. They were too hot for us anyway. No, you guys don't have to. You don't have to come in. We were just going to make you guys make out on camera a bunch behind us. Are we going in? Yeah, come Just sit behind Just tell you us. what to do. Don't say that before you walk into this room. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. <laughs> Shit on the table. Hell yeah. Really set up. <laughs> What up? Hey, nothing going on here, just some gay shit. Thanks for yeah. coming in and breaking it up. <laughs> this chick looked like she used to be goth in high school. Me? Yeah. Everybody yeah. They thought she was goth? Yeah, well, she's got, you know. <laughs> also, no, Dave. I was just dead, for real. Dave's covering up the hot chick as well. <laughs> he's just fucking, Good job, he's got this Dave. goofy fucking dude. Gotta look at his face the whole fucking time. Dave, you, you were a goth chick in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> Always, um, right. we are waiting, of course, on. Uh, Dave, Hotel's so. gonna be here any minute now. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we look. We have a great show planned today. Incredible show. Lots, lots to talk about. It's been a minute. I feel like how long has it been since we've done a show? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A week. We're oh, oh, also. I'll say we are back at the stand. Let's try it again. Keith away from finding out later from Keith. The answer to the question that I asked Keith to ask to whoever he talks to close to Kev. That's nice. Was he driving the other car? <laughs> <laughs> who was in the other car? Tracy? Who was in there? <laughs> <laughs> who was in there? <laughs> Keith can only make left turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kev also wanted to be the black comic with the best car accident also. <laughs> Always a mogul. <laughs> Always a mogul. Yeah. Um, it would be cool if the rest of the Fast and the Furious cast died in car accidents. <laughs> all they keep one, going one. out one by one. That's all the, how they leave the series <laughs> until it's just uh, Statham left over. It's like a huge franchise. I don't think I've ever watched a Fast and Furious movie. Never. That's seen insane. One of them. I've never Not seen one. You're of them. the demographic. What? Yeah, that, it's are, for awesome people. Well, yeah, kinda, dude, yeah, totally. It's, it's for the, badasses. It's for the yeah. critical tipper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, Guys, I'm a good fucking tipper. I, if somebody's I great, are. I will fucking throw down the fucking. Fuck yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, why don't you like rip out hundred and half and go the other half? Would have been if you brought a napkin. It's, it's for like <laughs> yeah, Latinos that, that love Best Buy. That's who goes to see the the Fast and. You've never seen one of them or a piece. Of I think I've never seen one. The first one back in the day. Yeah, I think I saw the first one back in the day, and then I saw Tokyo Drift. For like laughs, mm-hmm. and then I've never Tokyo seen the Drift other one. is the best of, of all of them. It's got nothing to do with the rest of them? of them. It's like yeah. Halloween three. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the rest of the series. I, well, right? I haven't seen the new one, Hobbs and Shaw. I wouldn't have guessed that you had seen all of them. They're great. They're fun. Really? Yeah. People I mean, love you gotta, these movies. You got to go see them in a the theater because if like you know opening day, people get into it. Are you the like, oldest whitest guy in that theater? <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> for probably sure. Now. I but I mean, not when the first one came out. You know. Then you were in your. I've never seen one in a theater. I don't know if I would want to sit in the theater. I'm a Transformer man. I uh, (laughs) look at it. I said I think I've officially when I watched that last Spider Man movie. The phone was to tell. Mm-hmm. When I watched the last Spider Man movie in the theater, I was like, I think I'm, I think I've aged out of giving a shit about superhero movies. <laughs> the giggles like, of what's children. What's this playlist for? <laughs> <laughs> You, you said you watched the uh, the Harvey Weinstein documentary yeah. on Hulu. I just watched that too with my it's girl, and um, it's. I mean, actually, I, I disagree. I actually thought it was kind of <laughs> a stupid, a shitty documentary. I thought it was good, except for I thought like, it was fun. It, let it, you know he's a piece of shit. For well, sure. he's definitely a piece of shit. But you also you you become aware that you're so bias against him for being ugly. What do you mean? Like you? the whole time they just keep showing his face. And you're, there, it's basically just the message of it is like, and look how fucking gross he was. <laughs> well, the girls they like, got yeah. to be the ones who spoke out on this documentary were just not great. Like, oh no, half were. the girls you're like, I'm not sure you're a victim. Like half of them are straight up. Like, I mean, the pa- you're, you're pa- a victim de- of rape. Paz de la Huerta essentially goes. This is she keeps pointing end. out how ugly he is. <laughs> like she was, she, she was said she was raped by him and keeps saying he was just ugly. Good. That power. Weinstein was known to be a bully. Thought Woody Allen's son? Sheriff in town. <laughs> scared people in the same way a gangster would. 
Yeah. And it looks just like Woody Allen. Very <laughs> fast. He no longer seemed to want to talk about work. I said, no, I don't do that. And he goes, you're making a very big mistake. When you read about rape, you read, she kicks and screams. I just froze. I said no and I pushed him away. I just came a lot. <laughs> 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 Most of the time, all that said, and the worst part was he had pretty big <laughs> deal. <laughs> Afterwards, it turns out it wasn't even Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Some it was the guy that cleaned the bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> and he said he was Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> Another fat person, <laughs> dude. There was the one. There was that one story. I know the one you'll remember, where the chick, uh, where she basically she's like, so she goes, so Harvey Weinstein is like invites her up to her hotel room. And then she goes up to the hotel room thinking it's just going to be business. And he gets naked. And she's like, whoa, what are you doing? And then she, he's like, I, I want you to get naked. And she's like, I don't know. I mean, it is Harvey Weinstein. So she gets naked. And he asks for a massage. And she massages him. Whatever that What's means. What's with exactly. the massages? With that was his guys. thing, Nick. Yeah. He liked a good massage. Epstein did the same. So I love power. a massage. Did you see it? Power. <laughs> power. <laughs> mm-hmm. Massages yeah. are fucking so, dope. Have you ever gotten a nice massage? No. Well, I'll tell you who has. A nice li- <laughs> massage from a nice lady? This is the last time I was on the show. It was you and your boy massaging each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He massages me sometimes. This is like the part two of it. He walks on my back. It's the whole thing. I'm teaching this kid to really be a good masseuse. Weinstein. Epstein, Epstein, Gomez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay Gomez. Uh, but so anyway, so then she goes, so she goes, she gives him a massage and he's like, he tries to fuck her and she's like, no, I'm not going to fuck you, but I'll give you a massage. And then she leaves. And then she reaches out to him like mm-hmm. a couple months later and is like, hey, let's like, you know, you told me to keep in touch. Let's keep in touch. And he invites her over to her hotel room and she goes back to his hotel room and she opens the door and his dick's out. And the, and she's like telling well, the story. No, like, she said she whacked. She was alluding that she whacked him off. The yeah, I think I, I, she didn't say it clear, but she said they both got naked and she massaged him. Whatever the fuck that. And means. she said I got on my knees. And yeah, like, and that, you're right. Hand. So basically, with my hands, like I like. You know, okay, so maybe I missed that. But yeah. so she, but then she reaches out to him, goes back to his hotel room, and she says she walks in and he's naked, and she tells it like she's like I just couldn't believe he was naked when the I came audacity. in. You're like this is. I think you're abusing Harvey Weinstein. Like, this, is, <laughs> this one might be on you. <laughs> that girl's definitely... I see the people they got, the girls they got to speak in this were not great representatives for the thing. They, they're not going to get the big name, like, people. Especially because there's so many people who aren't coming out and doing documentaries because they were like, yeah, I'll suck your dick for that role. So I think yeah. that's the problem they're running into mm-hmm. with it. But the thing is, he, but he is a it well, probably a world piece class shit. piece of shit. It also probably worked for him, you know, 99% of the time... <laughs> well, you didn't factor in when you had that dream. You're like, I'm going to do colleges nonstop and just fuck a bunch of college chicks. You go to colleges and you're like, hey, blah, 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 black guy. And they go, oh, God, everyone hates you. They want you off campus right away. You're like, so it was a joke. Like, 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 like a person here. of color. But they totally, now they, they totally like lull you in with like, yeah, you could say whatever you want. And then yeah. you can almost smell the groaning about the build. <laughs> yeah. So. When's the last time you did a college, though? It's uh, been a long time. Uh, Kent State in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad day for everyone. <laughs> Uh, Five died in Ohio that night, <laughs> yeah. and a career. <laughs> um, I, did you? That's guys... why you got to be like a, do a, like a rap or something, you know, or a um, some kind of mentalism. <laughs> you want to work these guys? Co- <laughs> yeah, you got to work. The, bring in uh, another skill. Have you guys ever eaten at Whataburger? Yeah. yeah. What happened there? Um, I, I was supposed Just to have one day. I gotta say, this is another Netflix documentary. Sorry. Is that people love it? Right. It's fine, like any. All I was the in Texas, and this chick I was talking to, she's like, "You gotta go to Whataburger," and I was like, "I you live know, in New York, fucking city, dude." Okay, I've I've had the best burgers in the world. Okay, there's uh, Whataburger's not gonna fucking blow my mind. You don't here. think California has more burger options than New York any day? Only because like, let me tell you something. California yeah. probably might. Yeah, the best burger I believe right now, hands down, is um, cheap food. Is, cheap food is better in Los Angeles, like. By by miles. Now that LA Sonic. has Shake Shack, uh, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> really, cheap you don't you don't find LA? there. Yeah. Like, but what do you mean go, cheap food? Like Shake Shack isn't even like really t- cheap Like a dinner food. for two is costing you less than sixty dollars. Like restaurant. Like I restaurant. Agree with that. Yeah. In yeah. LA that's, that's is a true. million times fucking better than New York. Looks like they got uh, all those Mexican spots, and that's fucking yeah, awesome. I love Mexican that. Spots. That's good. Yeah. Kayla Getz is like one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. I mean, look, New York City. I think it's just interchangeable. You could probably name two dozen incredible restaurants that like you know would make you lose your mind 
Um, it's New York, dude. It's fucking New York. It's a real good review. No, it's true. It's my fucking mind is making me so good. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, New York is like, you know, you're like, oh, you gotta go to Seattle for the coffee. It's like, dude, I live in New York. So the, you're the best coffee shop. this lady threatening to rape her because she recommended Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> but. You Whataburger. would have gotten a better yeah. tip, Miss yeah. Whataburger lady. <laughs> but but this, this one's on you. If you pull the video uh, from the Whataburger, go to, I think it's an hour, about an hour, or I'm sorry, a minute and five into the video. Um, this was a Whataburger in Texas. And I'm so happy I did not go here now. This is what happened. Oh, man. Oh, they, this girl finna try to catch this old. There's a mouse on the counter. This girl finna try to catch this rap. She don't even work here. Bro. She don't even work here? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Is it a rat? Look. Oh, when in the green. That way he did not help. You gonna knock some money off them fries? <laughs> Wait, so what? I I'll take my fries. <laughs> so a mouse was on the counter. Oh no! Went in there, and then he jumped into the fryer. Ah. Yeah, he killed himself. It's the most delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he, is. he died a martyr. <laughs> oh, they don't show it after? No, I don't think they show it. Do they? Uh, I thought they were going to show a freaking You understand, this mouse. isn't like what they do at Whataburger. This isn't like I the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy she I didn't go. I don't want mouse. She wasn't like, you got to try the rat. Yeah. Yeah. Mouse fries. How much better is it with that guy's commentary? Oh yeah, it's like oh, oh dang, oh no, <laughs> oh Mousy, you did no. <laughs> There's nothing else Something. on it. Dude, the thing, here's the thing that's great about Girl Scout cookies. They are just awesome. They're actually yeah. really fucking good. So their product, oh, all the other shit sucks. Those kids who sell like candy bars. Uh, oh, it's always those, those, fucking it's a, suck. Just nondescript like milk chocolate. It's in a white wrapping. You're like or it's, it's a. But Girl Scout cookies cherries with the chocolate cherries, the best. incredible. They fucking rule. They just nailed the product, so everyone else needs to just figure out a good fucking product. They, they do so good that other co- that the other cookie companies now make their version yes. Of Girl yeah. Starbucks yeah. has their own little knockoffs of Girl Scout cookies. Can you imagine how shit there's definitely a Keebler how fucked Samoas. up is Starbucks to try and like yeah let's, yeah, let's put these children out of business. Yeah, t- <laughs> let's go ahead and horn in on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take them. <laughs> just take them out. Some corporate <laughs> boardroom <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Like there's a lot of profit. So Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, year round. Who's going to need it from those dumb bitches <laughs> in the Boy Scouts? Yeah, let's, let's nip this in the bud. These girls aren't old enough to show a little leg to make a sale. Let's do this, man. Right next to your coffee. In the Boy Scouts to make money to go to Albany. That was like a big trip for us to go to the Capitol. Mm-hmm. We were selling light bulbs. <laughs> so it became like... What wattage? It became like one of those like... Let's sell a few, and it's like this is hard, <laughs> Dad. Can you just buy? <laughs> Will you buy all of our light bulbs? <laughs> yeah, they oh, were we were smashing. In the corner by himself, like a dust ball. Jay's yeah. creating a. The things he saw when you left, <laughs> he had to. <laughs> he just sits in the corner. Jay was just by himself, like creating these elaborate, fun. I don't think that was dog. Was in fucking. Oh yeah, I did make a nice little dog. Yeah, cartoon dog. Yeah, dude, yeah, it was like really good. I'm artistic. I'm impressed. What do I tell you? Um. All right, let me tell you how I feel about Blue Chew. Yeah, I knows? legitimately love Blue Chew. Dude, it makes my dick so thick. Yeah, dude, so thick. So hard. Yeah. What does? You know what, Blue Chew? It almost hurts. And it doesn't almost hurt. It makes my dick thick, hard, fat, chunky. Morbidly obese. <laughs> <laughs> dude, no, it really does. I don't, you know, it's, um, I don't even take it, they say take it 20 minutes before. I switch it up now. You take it during, dude. Now, after. <laughs> well, for people who don't know, Blue Chew is a chewable that has the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. It makes your dick hard. Yeah. yeah. Simple Rager. as that. Makes your dick raging boner. If you want to fuck two or three times in a night, that's easy. No and it, brain. And it can work faster than pills. You can take it uh, on a full or empty stomach, which is awesome. Jay always always has a full stomach. Huh? We know, Jay. <sighs> that hurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. So, uh, but no, I really, truly do love it. I, now what I do is I take it about an hour, an hour and a half before. And it keeps my dick erect all night, and then in the next morning, I still have that full dickness. 
The next morning. I saw a heavy that. hang. That's what I like. I'm just ready to go. If I want to go in the morning, a nice big fucking Right, major. but you wake up, but you're reminded of your dick when you wake up because it's, it's feeling a little heavier. I know that it's there. Yeah. Usually I'm like, oh, I'm dickless when I wake up. <laughs> Let's be first like, I'm dickless. <laughs> <laughs> Just birds. <laughs> oh, I'm dickless. Yeah, another day. But not a blue, blue chew. chew changes all of that. Yeah, and uh, you don't have to fucking wait in a pharmacy line or or go to a doctor's visit. Doctors. They do it all online. It only takes a few minutes to connect with a bluechew.com affiliated physician, and if you qualify, <laughs> you get prescribed <laughs> online quickly. I want to know who the bluechew online affiliated physicians are. Dr. Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Boner is Dr. waiting Seymour for you. Boner. Hey, you, uh, it's just you want like, a big yeah. dick? It's like the you know like fucking extras from Van Wilder. <laughs> you guys are gonna med- medical school's gonna be awesome, dude. Do you know you can get your medical license yeah. off the coast of the Bahamas? <laughs> Whatever. That guy graduated. He's gonna get you your dick pill when you need it, with yeah. no in-person doctor's visits, yeah. and this it's gonna ship do- directly to your door. This is and I am ready to give your dick hard. <laughs> um, Ships directly to your door in discreet packaging. Uh, it's made in the USA, uh, prescribed part. online by America, a doctor baby. quickly. Factories. Just <laughs> chew it. <laughs> Tell them the listen deal, dude. Billy Joel. Just listen to Springsteen <laughs> in the factory making dick pills. <laughs> Don't hold back, Dave. <laughs> Tell them the goddamn deal. Steam. Well, okay. Here's the deal. Go to bluechew.com. You get your first order for free if you use the promo code LEGION. Wow. You just pay $5, $5. shipping, uh, but that's at bluechew, B-L-U-E, chew.com. The promo code is hard. LEGION. For your first order you free. Want dick? Take Dr. Boner's word for it. Dude, your dick's going to be raging. Dude, it's me, Dr. Seymour Boner. <laughs> yeah, MD. <laughs> All right. Let's get back into the show. Did you guys... You know what, man? I'm fed up. I'm going to go to school. Yeah, it would be great if the cop turned on him now and he goes, <laughs> yeah, what did know. you just say? <laughs> no, I was giving an example. I was giving an example. No, no, no. <laughs> the music, oh, Kill Bill music kicks in. Dead. So, what? he'll be going to DJJ, <laughs> the juvenile jail. He'll be placed in there for uh, several days. Fantastic. And uh, he's going to be executed by the state of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're taking him directly to the electric chair. <laughs> uh, but we're making sure that he gets raped in jail prior to that happening. Your son will be raped by at least one gang. We cannot determine the race now. If they will be white supremacists or Latin kings, but he will be gang raped and then taken directly to the electric chair afterwards. But it was just a joke. He was just saying a joke. I don't understand it's why you got to gang rape him and fuck his it's, mouth and ass. It's the game. It's a, he's playing a game online with his friends that are all saying this kind of stuff. They say it in the game. Are you going to make the Latin kings rape all of them? In, my, in a perfect world, ma'am? Yes. We would take all of these kids right down to the jail and sodomize all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to go from there. The charge is a felony. Um, it might be a second or third degree. I have to double check because a written threat to harm somebody is a third degree felony. Second degree is when involved with a mass shooting in a school. Or an he's a little boy. He didn't do fifth- anything wrong. Yes, he's 15. But he's still a little boy and he's not one of the crazy people. <laughs> he's got a little stuff. penis. It hasn't grown. It isn't great at the, all. The guy in the in the middle thinks he looks so. Dude, I look fucking so cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's just whispering in the kid's ear. Make one fucking How'd move. You try it. I it. I've been looking at pictures of J.C. Patrick wrong? and T2 Two. all day long. <laughs> That's fucking horrible, man. That's fucking. I know. Ew, what the fuck is this? I don't know. Why diet, you make me drink diet that? peach snapple. It's not though. It's the best. But it's not. They've what taken all it? the sugar so out of it and added cum. No, see if it tastes wrong. It, t- it does. Slide it down. No. It does. <laughs> no. I mean, after that, I don't need a third opinion here. Taste it. We don't need a third opinion. What could happen to that? that I don't know. 
<laughs> it was so bad. Oh, man, I got to see what that's all about. <laughs> it's so good. I got to see what that gagging's all about. I mean, it's no, odd. No, I'm not tasting this. You puss. It's clearly terrible. You'll do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. You won't make out or jerk each other off with flashlights <laughs> or taste a Snapple. You won't taste a Snapple. How True. often piss factors You're never doing the pranks. bits, dude. Come on. <laughs> Gay Mike, drink all this Snapple. Gay this Mike, isn't a bit. Snapple? Taste bit. Thanks, Gay Mike. Tell us if Tell it us what's normal. wrong. Tell you brought this. Does this taste normal? You brought this into our life. First of all, look at why is the bottle so weird? Are you texting yeah. about this? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? It's like, uh, flavor you do like a, like, while we're doing it. It's odd. Something's wrong. Yes. No, water. I thought you were texting about this while we're doing it. It's like yeah. sugary. Like a snap. Letting someone know. What I'm just watching Atal and what? Mullen have their own conversation yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> They sent, a, they sent a cop and an umpire to tell him, <laughs> your son is out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't know, what man. Do you, what are you going to do there? Not ruin this kid's life? Punch the fucking no, you don't give a f- I, But the reality is you think it'll, the felony charge will be dropped. The, there's no way they're going to just... I mean, you don't know. No, because yeah, there was another case in Texas where a kid did the same thing. He posted on Facebook. It's like, oh, oh I'm going to fucking... I'm going to take a gun to school or whatever. And they fucking... They railroaded that kid. Yeah, dude, there's stories all the time of this where yeah. people just get like these horrible fucking things. I'm like, that's like... That seems like a really serious felony they're going to hit him with. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I mean, look, I, I guess if this kid was about to go shoot up a school, then it's good that they did this. But you got to realize it's like 99.9% that that's not the case. Yeah. I mean, like, like attorneys, like, this, like state's attorneys aren't in the business of losing cases or fucking dropping charges. If they, like, bring charges against a kid like this, they're going to fucking get what they want out of it. Yeah, but if he gets a good lawyer, he's never had any prior arrest. They give him a psychological evaluation. Uh, my assumption is this kid's life will not be ruined. It sucks. Mm. I, I my look, assumption I, is it already sucks. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. I, but at the end of the day, you know, yeah, don't go and post. You're going to shoot up your fucking school on the internet. It is. Well, I'm, t- I, I'm telling yeah. you, I, I just watched. As a dad, I would literally fight those cops. Like, there's no chance of putting my kid in cuffs in front of me. It, we're, we're, I'm also going to jail right there. I understand that as a parent, so there is a chance they're putting their kids in cuffs. No, no, he's going to jail. Yeah, that would be the worst. <laughs> that would be the worst. I can't. Lewis, yeah, you're both. Lewis, <laughs> with that social media shit does though. I watched a documentary last night called Roll Red Roll um, about the Steubenville, Ohio, like their football team, like raped a girl while she was like asleep, basically. Yeah. And, you know, they, they were not getting away with it. Everyone was like, nobody really wanted to come down these kids because they're the stupid football team. But through just like a, like a lady, who, like a journalist, could go through everyone's social media to have these guys on social media saying things like... Ho's gonna get raped. I think you're playing Limp Bizkit for this story. It was a perfect song. Like really, like, ho, like Ho's get raped. Watch out, Ho's. Oh, these muff Malik raping a bitch. <laughs> like, and they're not doing it like they're telling. They're like, ah, check it out, everyone. It's insane to how much people share on that. No, shit. that's that's a little different. I'm saying, but, no, I mean, no, that's that's interesting. No, no, I know, but I'm just saying, like, even like, and that's like they're they're confessing to their crime in real time while they're doing it. Like, this kid's like putting out their things. You know, it's yeah. Like, I mean, know that's this is like, come back. That's evidence in a crime that already happened. This is like sort of like a First Amendment issue. Yeah. So it depends on how you feel about free speech. I mean, people in general don't seem to give a shit too much about it as much as they did 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. But, but is that yelling well, because fire? But, but is that yelling because you've been mass shooting? It's a threat. It's, a threat. it's, it's still, still a gray area. area. Because no one knows what to do. No one knows what to do now. If you're, if you're actually threatening 500 kids in a school in that moment and you're writing it down, I mean, it's, it's, it's not yeah. It's it should not be, exactly it should be the job of, issue. like you said yourself, it should be investigated. It should be the job of law enforcement yeah. agencies to spend whatever resources they need to to figure out whether these are credible threats or not. Don't destroy. I, I would my if I was in charge of this, he would have a psychological evaluation. Yeah. When, this, slap when, on this the cop, when this cop, when this like, cop is like, when this cop is like, oh, well, how am I supposed to know? It's like, well, that's your job is to know, is to figure it out. Yeah. So, yeah, I but mean, are they going to figure it out on that front lawn? Yeah. No, but the yes, point cops, is, yeah, cops, cops fucking try, go talk to the kid. I mean, yes. I mean, it, uh, unfortunately, cops that's try to have no work, humanity but. in their decision making. They try to keep it all. That's where they go. Goes, well, I'm told. I have to arrest you if you do that. There's no like better that way. They give you no. You don't have to be a dick about it, but if you if there's too much humanity, it's it's not better. It's too hard to call. It's just too hard to call. Like protective services when they go to the like the bad house 
and they're like, well, that seemed okay, and they're doing everything we said, and then it comes back, and, the, you know, the kid's in the freezer or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, if the kid does you lunatic know, out one day, then that cop's like, fuck, yeah. I shouldn't have just kind of exactly. made that call. And they will maybe go maybe right I was them. an idiot, maybe I didn't Sure, but then you should err on the side of being kind of certain before you take someone's kids away or before you take a kid away. Look, I, I, I like what Nick was saying, I think, it's like, you'd want to be like, okay, let's look into this, let's check this out, let's see if there was any, like, like no, how I'm we can investigate. You, since, but since once Parkland, there's a statue like since that, Parkland, like, in the wake of Parkland, there's a lot of people that like I'm friends with that I saw get on social media. Yeah, they're all crazy commies that would see something like this and be like, "Good, yes, lock his ass." Yeah, up. that's insane. They, I don't I think mean, do you think, do you think search his house like fully to see what this guy like, like dig on the, the kid a little bit and then like see and yeah, there's nothing to walk away. You, the, here's the thing: not so, arrest so it's, much it's right away because we're looking at it as like, "Oh, it's a kid." Yeah. Separate the fact well, that like I, I, being in jail for a couple of days sucks, but even if it's not even if it's not a kid, I mean like it, it used to be. I I just like don't really care to have the argument anymore. But I used to lean more towards like it doesn't matter what people say. It's like unfortunately you can't stop all crime, and it's like it, it, I would err on the side of letting people get away with it. It, it would be worse to me to like lock up a hundred kids that say something like that and it's clearly a fucking joke and destroy their lives than not arrest the one kid that says he's going to do it, they don't do anything about it, and then he ends up doing it. I mean, I I think, like, the the net result of uh, eroding people's, like, liberties and, and like... Holy the, shit, libertarian moving. Nick Mullen. No, Here just when it, it comes to free expression. Wow. When it comes to free expression. This week's yeah. guest, I'm part of the problem. No, I mean, all I've always, right, Nick. No. All all right, Nick. I just right, want to be Nick. able to use the N-word. It's all I'm saying. <laughs> and there shouldn't be laws against it. And I don't care how many schools they have to shoot up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, uh, but you're, you're right in that spirit. You can't... <laughs> Maybe they do. There's yeah, just they no, do. Dude, they get angry and fickle, and they want to sandbag each other. They don't even realize when they'll put shit out like that. No, they they're realize these major crimes. They dude, realize it'll be out there, but they don't like. They're teenagers. So when you're a teenager, the you're too retarded small. to like yeah. get what that actually means. Like yeah, that, that's why teenagers actually... kill themselves because they don't like understand that they're actually going to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I mean, oh, really, my, no, but they're like, my mom's going to be so sorry for what she said oh, to you last week. Their brains yeah. are and formed. Right, they make dumb decisions. Make me go to summer school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want to be an after-school bowling league. In retrospect, I wish I would have dropped out of high school. You? Yeah. Really? No reason. D- well, yeah. No, now, but you don't think just for not even like Socially thinking of yourself as the kid who dropped out of high school, there was something beneficial to you just being like, all right, I at least like passed that level. No, what I should have done was it's I young enough to roll with the system. I think getting through high school. What else would you have done that that year or two? Well, no, what I should have done was I should have dropped out of high school, at 16, shot up the high school, <laughs> and then I should have gone to Rock Community College, and uh, you get to take college courses while you get your GED. And then by the time everyone graduates <laughs> high school, I have my associate's degree. And then use that to get into real school. Lewis, you lasted in college for a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, I was going to say, I went for a what month. I wish I, I, wish I would have done happened. that. I, I mean, wish I would have take college that courses as you're getting your GED. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like being a lifeguard and learning how to swim. <laughs> Same time. It's like, uh, learn while doing. <laughs> Have you graduated college yet? Yeah? I was too dumb to graduate high school, but I'm three credits away from being an air traffic controller. Did you graduate NYU or did you just go? Yeah, I did. He graduated? He really has no help or whatever. I was watching him today, like, uh, you know, by the cellar. They're all going to school. And they don't seem all stressed out because it's like the beginning of school. But I guess because they've been taught all like that run, hide, fight stuff since like they're like 12 years old that they all are like, you know. Now, how hard can this be? You know, it's a big yeah. space. Well, I'll, I'll jump in. I don't even think there's expected. I, I don't know how many people go to college with like, I'm going to get a. a no, that education. happens to college too. Com- they have that uh, lockdown. You know, you know what I'm saying? I think it's completely about like the social aspect of it now. You pick your place now based on where you want to fucking rage. It doesn't really seem to be much of a. I don't know. I, I, and I say I'm having a 17 year old daughter who just doesn't seem very interested in. And, uh, she, you know, she depending on the week. Okay. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll absolutely pay for her to go to college if she. Every building building smoke. No, there was nothing in my lease about not so. I mean, I guess I didn't read the whole thing. I but they just was. no, they put up a sign that's like effective. It was like of the um, I don't know, like three months ago. That's probably like this a, is a smoke free building. Like, is it maybe. a co-op or a condo? It's just a fucking rental. I don't oh, okay, so you know, I yeah. just fucking rent. Uh, but it's just they and it, there's something about it that pissed me off. Even though I haven't smoked cigarettes 
for quite a while. Yeah. I was like, uh, I don't know. That's not really? fair. Yeah, so especially if you bought a place there. And you well, that's you could different. Smoke it. There, 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 really well, now you're vaping your lungs, to. fatty Dave. I'm actually really scared of fucking vaping now. Everyone's fucking the what goddamn CDC There's just put out today articles. that, that vaping you, is worse than You believe than that conspiracy? Cigarettes. Vape it up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Lauren's Center texting me a new story about someone who died from vaping yeah. every oh goddamn day. Fucking God, oh. leave me alone. Let me just be in my own. It's space. all I have. I'm so glad that turned out to be how vaping works. Come on, <laughs> no, because no, you're true. right. He's the right. I even hubris, know you're right. If 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 the vape community wasn't fucking what? Oh, he's still smoking cigarettes or whatever. Like well, everybody's fucking face seven years ago. <laughs> they deserve to die. <laughs> they deserve. I deserve to die, but for other cancer. reasons. That you could possibly get. It's also new cancer, like robot cancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would be like if cell phones came out. It would be like if cell phones came out. It would be like if cell phones came out. Like if cell phones came out, people going around like, oh, you still got your home phone? Oh, nice home phone, asshole. And then they just all have brain cancer. Yeah, yeah. which is probably also coming. We have no idea. Cell phones. All this technology and the way it all, like, these fucking... Think about the amount of like, it, fucking it, shit that's beaming through the fucking air. I was, was going to say, having a, cell, having a cell phone is probably not adding to anything of that you're just walking constantly. Whatever that field is, you're walking through it constantly. Uh, please, let's watch these white girls say slavery should come back. Oh, then, yeah. yeah I, I completely forgot slavery is coming back. And we'll, we'll wrap up after this. Uh, what? Real quick, let's do plugs before we do this. Uh, let's get some plugs out of the way. The sociopathy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, That's not why I hate him. No, no, no. I know. I'm not oh, saying. Wait. <laughs> I see. No, I see what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. So you're fighting for the white race. It's called trickery. Nah, I will follow make it out for this. Okay. But what's his deal? He's a huge, he's like the biggest YouTube guy in England, right? Is uh, he? He's, yeah. Oh, yeah. he is. Yeah. He's yeah. I yeah. think so. Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't know. I never seen him. I know his name's KR1. That's right. Yeah, no one, no, I mean, I'm going to be honest, if you're in America, like, you don't know who the kid is. We don't. Well, here's the thing. First of all, yeah. if we like, if we wanted to be in Britain so bad, we'd have stayed over there, that's dude. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm saying. We, our, our ancestors made Here's choice. how bad it was going. When we got into a boat, left there, yeah. people were like, where are you going? We're like, we don't even fucking know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but we're leaving, We're dude. out. <laughs> that's, imagine it yeah. being yeah. that bad, dude. We're out. Yeah. It's gone. So, that like, bad. you don't have enough gas to get there, and you're like, yeah, we'll fucking, yeah, we'll, we'll see what the Lord wants. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We got this We got this barrel of pepper. Yeah. That's what we need. We got some spices, and we're good to go. Man, this, yeah, wow. those pilgrims are nutty, huh? So this, crazy, is, so this is, so this is, was the first bout here in, in the U.S. as well? No, it was in, it was in Manchester. Oh, so now, nice. Now L.A., Staples Center, home field turf. advantage. You got it, dude. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you feel like the first one, it was a draw? It was a draw. It was a tie, man. Yeah, it sucked. Do you feel sucked. like it was a tie? Nah, I feel like I won. He I looks like a tough dude. dude. He looks like a guy. He looks a formidable oh. opponent. Is it his picture behind me? Yes. I think so, yeah. Let's Unless that's just right another there. guy. What the fuck? You th- I mean, bro. KS1. Look at his face. For Logan how you, how are you going to take that serious? Yeah. I would take I mean, If I saw him in an alley, I would take it seriously. You know what I mean? And that's just because if I saw him in an alley, I would be somewhat threatened. But how many men have you met in alleys? Though? A lot. But it's usually <laughs> it's a lot. But it's usually a text first, you know? <laughs> so to just from out of nowhere, if I just saw those dreadlocks, it looks like a tarantula. And Dude, I think <laughs> it those, does. It does. Those <laughs> locks don't have that much dread in them. I think this is the you know toughest what? this it's, guy looks. Is it this does the toughest kind of look looks? like white girl dreadlocks. Yeah. It does. It to me, looks to, like, yeah. To me, that this is what that picture, the photographer was like, okay, now scrunch your face and look tough. Yeah. And that's right. what happened. I've seen tougher black women at a bus stop in Baltimore. That's dude. what I'm absolutely. saying. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, That's the next fight. You just fight black women <laughs> at a bus stop in Baltimore. Dude, I saw this lady one time. Bro. Sponsored by Popeye's new chicken sandwich. <laughs> I saw this lady drinking a whole six pack of baby formula at a bus stop in Baltimore. No. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Slam, bro. He's Fuck good at that. Yeah, he's great. I mean, he's, great he's, he's, the, great he's, the, he's really the I greatest. I walked into it. it. What am I? I'm, I'm a moron. Yeah. But that whole life, like, man, I hated myself. Yeah. Did you though? I, ha- I hated myself. Wow. I hate. I hated myself. That like looking back now. Looking back now. Yeah. At the yeah. time, I was like, this is dope. Yeah. I'm a YouTube star. Yeah. And now I'm just like, fuck. You're just acting out. 
I don't. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think I was just lashing. I was. I was pissed that everyone you, hated me. Doing, I was like, pissed that everyone was pissed at me. Yeah, you doing the crazy pranks. Yeah. Have you ever done one of those where you regretted it, like? A that crazy sure. prank. Well, obviously the one that the, we all know about. <laughs> the, yeah, the one in the forest. Probably. Yeah, right. That one, but, which that I didn't one. even think was offensive. I was like, whatever. He's, I didn't you know, either. Like, I didn't you think you, it was you a don't strike deal. me as a person who found it offensive. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I, I mean, me and my friends played with dead people, alive people, what people who were in the middle, saying? but we just didn't. We saying? couldn't get, you know. <laughs> Why did you? We just <laughs> couldn't get any. We couldn't monetize it because we were <laughs> we were from the generation that can't monetize the sociopathy. But I wish we. No, but that wasn't that wasn't. But have you ever done something where you're like, oh, I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, man. I, pour, I poured gasoline on my brother. Or uh, I tried to pour gasoline on my brother. He ran away, and I slipped in it and almost broke my shoulder. Yeah, see that, dude. My boy Todd, one time at Halloween, drank a fucking half gallon of gasoline, dude. And no joke, we never fucking saw him again. Yeah, <laughs> never, and guess what? Never he's have probably seen him. fine. Oh, I think he's fine, but I think he's yeah. never gonna be fully fine. Right. I'll sit and tell you. They have to look back because then you're you're just more likely to judge yourself, dude. If twenty two year old me showed up right now, bro, what would I think? You know, I'd be like, damn, dude, tighten up, dude. You know, <laughs> really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, what do you think? You you think you're too loose? No? I, I just don't know. I just don't know <laughs> what like I would open think. Uh, I don't know what I would think. Yeah. What did you guys think about the um the Justin Bieber post? Did you see his post about the Tom Cruise about the no, not Tom he Cruise. Wants to fight. Well, he wanted to fight Tom Cruise. <laughs> you talking about the mental health one? Well, yeah, but first let's talk about Tom Cruise, then that would be a good fight on that same card. That would be a good fight. Cruise, Bieber. I think, I mean, not think, I'd be, I think Bieber would wipe the floor with him, if I'm being honest, man. Tom, I mean, I think so, too. Tom, Tommy's just too old, dude. Too old and too But you got that old man's strength, though. And yeah. science, bro, if you got Scientology, dude, you could do anything you want. You could do magic almost. Yeah, I don't know about that. Their whole thing's based <laughs> really on magic. Be, I, gotta be, I, don't think, I think the whole thing's the based on blackmailing gay dudes. <laughs> <Is that laughs> really? I think that's what it's really based okay, on. Yeah. It's going, here's a picture of you kissing a dude. What's that cost? 25 grand a month for the rest of your life. You go, okay, cool, whatever, I'm Batman, or whatever it is. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's magic. <laughs> I think it's cameras. I feel like Logan gets you know. nervous every time Tim brings up gay people, but he he is gay, so he's allowed to say all Oh, yeah, this. I'm allowed to say everything I want. I can say the N-word. Oh. I can say... <laughs> I'm kidding. I can't say the N-word. I can no. say, uh, I'm joking. You I don't can have say, that. look at this gay. Wait, yeah. hey, are you gay? I, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I, so I can say, oh, okay. I can I was, say oh, gay. Yeah, Logan's very nervous. Yeah. No, I mean, look, you, I've had some controversy. Get, what would you do? Man, it's, <sighs> you catch fuck a fly? those bitches. I don't worry so. about it. Well, no, we are fucking them, and it's not going that well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What Easy did you say? For you what did they say? sound something because they always go to the. They always find something homophobic that like a vi- like You didn't, a you didn't hear this? I don't. Not. I didn't oh, hear it. Shit, man. What happened? He's like, I killed three gay guys. He's like, I hate to bring it up. He's like, I hate to bring it up right now. <clears throat> In Ohio, me and Jake thought it was funny to tie up three gay guys and light them on fire. Uh, sorry. Uh, wow. He's like, you didn't hear this? There was a guy named <clears throat> Matthew Shepard, and <laughs> it was the first viral video. Uh, we tied him to a. Anyway, no. I'm, what did you say? Uh, fag? No, no, dude. Um, I said we were gonna we were gonna uh, hook up with dudes in March, yeah. male only March. You got oh, it. Yeah. And I used the, I used the verbiage. I said we were gonna go gay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. And up on an on our podcast, right? It's, it's the verbiage I use. And it, yeah. instead of saying yo, we're gonna hook up with dudes for March, it's right. Male only March. It was right. a joke. Of we, did, we did we did uh, sober vegan January, fatal February. We we're gonna the joke was we we're gonna do male only March. And yeah, I just it was uh just an out of touch joke. You yeah, know, people got mad. Yeah, people kind got mad. Of, online uh, people did. Online, I yeah, mean, nobody but, in the real world cares. But, I'll sit and tell you my story. Shine that light on me. She was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she wasn't smart. She was probably trying to go out and sniff some coke and, you know, fuck her way into the lower middle class. <laughs> she was fuck her way into a little Levitt house in Long Island. Good woman. <laughs> Oh my god, bro! You gotta play Santa more often, dude. I would love to watch the small was black kids attack yeah, you. Right they ball. just roasted me. They they were brutal. And here's the other thing: I wasn't just Santa. I was selling Obamacare because the thing was that you was a healthcare truck. Oh, Santa's would, got a fucking gimmick. And you would have to like get them with the. They'd be like, "Oh, they're Santa," and then you you get the kids in, then you grab their parents and be like, "That's called a bait and switch." It's a yeah. bait and switch, big time. And then you grab their parents and be like, "Listen, you're gonna have a high deductible, but it doesn't matter. Just declare bankruptcy." <laughs> You don't have to give them a fake name anymore. 
Um, you know, and you'd have to explain to the kids, you know, like this is this is a present that you're not going to realize the importance of now. Yeah. Mm. So it was a, it was a dark time. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun with it though. You had fun with it. I was younger. I was doing comedy. I was like, My life's shitty. Your life's been a real piece of shit. <laughs> it's been it's been something. <laughs> okay. You know, I never slept in a ball pit, but I, I'm not against it. Like I'm not opposed to sleeping in a ball yeah, pit. But still, man. Know? They were they were brutal little kids. Yeah. Oh, I could see that. Dude, brutal. I was in Vietnam one time and I let a couple of kids cut my hair. Right. I thought it'd be like a fun thing to do, something yeah. different for them. Yeah. And this one asshole fucking kid, bro. Instead of trying to make it look nice, just fucking cut them. Yeah. They're they're off. demon little kids. <laughs> Yeah. So that hit me hard. Nick, let's throw a topic out there. You got a couple topics, man, and we'll get through this. Got him. Can you say? It's entertaining, huh? Can you say? A black woman. Interesting. Great. Yeah. Was it, that's what I was picturing <laughs> before you vocalized it. I wanted to make sure I wasn't racist. No, you're not right. right. Bro, it's not racist just if, if a black person's involved in something that's not racist. I agree bro. with you. Otherwise, the whole NFL would be racist, so the whole everything would be. I agree. Why know? did he? So he just, he had, they popped off quick. Shit popped off, yeah. dude. There was yeah. two restaurants near Listen, each other. Hey, and they really were sharing comes parking. in a, a dish, though. Yeah, so we got a ramekin. That's too? the thing. Got a, hit with a little ramekin. Ooh, that, see, that hurts. Took a ramekin to the sternum. Ooh. Sternum, bro. And that wow. hurts. You ever hurt hitting the sternum? Yeah. Real hard? It fucking hurts, hurts. bro. Yeah. Reminds you of your fucking, who your parents are suddenly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Both of my parents flash before my eyes every time I get <laughs> fucking punched in the chest. You ever, you ever forget in general? Like, who your parents are? Yeah. yeah, my dad's been dead a long time. The other day, my people's like, oh, what's up with your dad? And I was like, where's my dad been? And then I was like, oh, he's, <laughs> he deceased. Uh, where is he? <laughs> so sometimes, yeah, I get, I'll, I'll miss a frame or two. Um. Well, I think we'd be remiss if we did we let Tim get out of here without uh, letting us know what really happened with Jeffrey Epstein. You seem to be encyclopedic. Yeah, I mean, you know, and we'll you're rich enough where you could get involved in this shit. Yeah, so, we'll, yeah let's hear what's going we'll on. We'll ne- we'll never know. I mean, that's I mean, he was clearly either murdered or allowed to kill himself. I mean, that you have narcoleptic prison guards, you have malfunctioning cameras, you have him making a will the day before he died, mm. you have him being taken off suicide watch 48 hours before he died. You have a, a, I mean to if you don't believe there's something going on, you're in on it. Yeah. That's the way I feel like. If you don't believe yeah. the conspiracy, him buying a sorry I'm dead y- shirt on, on Amazon <laughs> but, uh, two days before. Yeah, I mean him having dinner last night in West Hollywood. Uh, that was a little suspicious. <laughs> having a dinner party called Welcome Jeffrey to the Hood. That was odd. His new job at the Disney Channel? Questionable. <laughs> Questionable. Uh but that's what happened. You'll never know what happened. Football season's coming, no one cares. People want to watch The Bachelor. They don't care. <laughs> Politicians are having sex with kids on islands. That's a fact, and now no one cares. It's, it's like doesn't matter anymore. You talk to somebody in the supermarket, they're like, that was last week. Yeah. I'm like, yo, so politicians are like banging kids on an island. They're like, get out of here. It was last week. I'm over that. So It's just a spectrum, man. Yeah. It's a spectrum, dude. It is what it is, man. These people aren't getting so rich so that they can just keep eating steaks. It, they want to get involved in shit. It is true. They're starting to, they, you know, they want to fight people from other countries. Yeah, you know? that's right. That's how it starts and it escalates, man. It's crazy. I'm just, I'm just, to me it makes me happy thinking of Bill and Hillary Clinton sitting in their home the day he was killed, whether they knew. Are you pro-choice or pro-life when it comes to young children having to have sex with rich people? Here's the thing. I don't think young children should uh, have to have sex with rich people, but I don't want any more comics. Right. You know what I mean? So those kids got to do something. I think you bring back the workhouses. You know, I think what China's doing right now is very positive with the kids, getting them in working young, teach them the value of the Oh, dollar, and do the balancing on each other? Yeah, I like all that. Get the kids in gymnastics. No, they shouldn't have to fuck Bill Clinton and Alan Dershowitz. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you, you know? fucking ruined it. You ruined the episode. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, what was fa- wait? What was phase three? This is the Avengers Endgame and shit. Yeah, that was the end of it. That's mm-hmm. what I so that last Spider Man flick. I was out in Hollywood. Uh, oh really? Oh, oh shit! Like last- oh, because they saw they saw like last month they saw that uh, episode where you and Tom Cruise were the same actor. Yeah, we act we did an act off. Me <laughs> and, uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> That's paper incredible. Face. Yeah, and they were like, "Holy shit, this guy's really good." So I'm up for the role of White Panther. Yeah, and I can't <laughs> fuck my to God. get this thing. There actually I mean, is a character called White Panther. Uh, well, I'm going to be a little bit different. I, I didn't realize that. You're going to play like a bear or a panda, like a all white people animal? in the movie. Uh-huh. 
black guys are bad guys. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not just a, like a real throwback to no. the '60s. Yeah, and uh, you going back to those Marvel days? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have like superpowers and shit, and I'm gonna have a fucking suit, like a robot suit, like a, a robot. panther suit. This, like a, this like is a incredible. White panther, yeah. Okay. And it happens in White Conda. Yeah, White Conda. How did you know? <laughs> did you see the script? I like it. There's three Ks in that. No, I just saw the script. I didn't. I mean, phase four is White fucking. White Conda. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what he's gonna be. At. That's that's just gonna be. At. And there's gonna be a crossover with this other Phase four one called Gary Cage. Jesus. About a guy near his side, <laughs> and he fucking a polices. bald white guy that he makes sure no, no. very long hair, yeah. very oh, long hair, and uh, he polices the Upper East Side. Okay, he like uh, he settles di- he settles disputes at Zabar's. He's fucking, <laughs> wow, he's unstoppable. Okay. He works really at the GNC during a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he's swole. Fucking he's yeah. very swole. And then of course uh, Jessica Jones is in both <laughs> universes. Of course, yeah. Lily White, Chris. Yes. Lily White. <laughs> So this is really exciting for me to be part of Phase Four. I mean, I'm not part of it yet. I'm just up for it. But Phase Four Marvel. Think well, like, about me. Jessica you Jones. Mean? Now that she's been in the last couple of phases of the Marvel thing, now uh-huh. she just settles down with Gary Cage. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Has kids with him. She's not gonna I mean, rock she, the boat. Yeah. She moves across town. Yeah. You know, and, uh, <laughs> starts wearing pencil skirts. And yeah. Shit. Starts Ugh. taking the six everywhere. Yeah. Mm. That train sucks. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. I don't want to give anything away. Are you gonna you be know? the bad guy in a new Blade movie too? I wish, bro. No, he was the he was the vampire that he hit with the sun lamp in Blade Two. <laughs> is that a fat vampire? <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was a All right, well, I, I, don't know, I don't remember Blade Two. I don't know how I was able to guess that. How would you not remember Blade I, Two? It's the best superhero movie of all time. I, I prefer about. to be Stephen Dorff's character, a lot hotter. Yeah, like, fucking. I'm like a Stephen Dorff type, you know. You kind of are. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for lying to me. Yeah. He's uh, fat. Mm. Nine and everybody could catch every ball that's thrown off of a yeah. wall. Yeah, it's, it's not, <laughs> not if you're throwing it max speed. I was playing it yesterday, Babyface. I don't know what you're talking the children, about. Children, dog? Me you're and right, Nate man. and a couple of fucking 12 year olds. You guys are just playing suicide? Yes, yeah, son. I I by the school yard we were fucking the dominating it, too. Yeah. I mean, those kids were bruised by the time we were done with them. That sound I don't right spend any time around like kids. It. That doesn't sound right. Why, why play that? You guys, <laughs> that. You guys yeah. are fucked up in there. Babyface, <laughs> don't listen to that. I'm they made that shit up shit. with fucking algorithms and AI, all right? Yeah, it's a deep fake. That's a fucking... So is, um... Just play another one. <laughs> fucking light that dick up. How about that? Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a go. deep fake also. That's all, they're all deep fake audio. I Who doesn't like want it. some dicks? Mm. Again, more deep fakes. I mean, mm. the amount of fucking deep fakes that I've been a fucking victim of. Oh, my God, that bulge is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. See, I've not said any of these things. What else? What else you got, you fucks? <laughs> we got a compliment. I want to put my cock in you. See, I would never would say that. There's no context. here. Do this coke. Suck my dick. Yep. There's no context for me to ever say anything. I'm just gonna be fucking cutting them little dicks. What? There you go. Why would anyone want to cut a, ch- a children's penis or just a small penis? Yeah, my n word. <laughs> I'm not a racist. <laughs> I'm not paper faced. I'm not paper faced. son talking to white wow. people. Wow. He didn't say he was going to make them racist. He's just going to tell them that white people are are, uh, N-words. Yeah, it's really going to fuck up the movie Black Panther for fans. (laughs) Well, hopefully it doesn't fuck up White Panther, because I want to make a lot of money on that. I'm getting nine points on that You're going to bank it down. Oh, my God. I'm going to get so much money. I actually want to invest in that. I want to to be on Banktown. Nice. Just come on Banktown with me. Yeah. Like, this is White Panther, the smartest movie ever made. Jesus Christ. (laughs) What's What's so fucking funny in there? Um, Those two are really having a ball tonight, aren't they? <laughs> so you guys really, uh... Uh, John, Bronx Johnny. Yeah? Do you play Connect Four with your child that is six years old? I do. I whoop his ass every time. My wife gives me a good run for the money. My wife? Oh, yeah, she's all right. Wow. That's shit. My wife. Oh, congratulations on that, too. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Look at these guys across from us. Chris, these minorities. They're married. Wow. They're in, uh, trade like Pokemon. White Panther just going at it. Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was, I was doing a line reading from the show. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. For, my, the for my audition. Damn it. <coughs> just saying, man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, I right. that, was, that was the best man yet. <laughs> I swear to God. You've been practicing. He's falling in love with that shit. I'm falling in love with pa- right. I'm not falling. I am in love. <laughs> face. Hey, man. I think I got something in my eye. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's fucking annoying the fuck out of me. So wait a minute. Is it cum? It's dried cum. (laughs) 
It doesn't it doesn't look appealing. Man, I'm sorry, shit. Giants, not a fucking empanada or a fucking beef uh, is good too. Though. A fucking Dorito taco, that right? Shit, that shit is all right. all right. I had that today. I'm I've sorry had it for like that, the last four days. I'm sorry that we can't make that for you and make you more comfortable in this country. You can't really make liver worse and shit. I'm gonna like make you liver worse. Burn town. Of course, that makes liver suck me off. Doesn't look good though. It looks like fucking. Like fatty deposits of bologna. You gotta eat raw onions. What'd you just call me, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> fatty deposits? That's a hot ass rap name. <laughs> Yo, that's hard. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. I get, uh, I get a little fucking sensitive. Still in the scene. Throwing like that Daniel Day Lewis and shit with your racist. Can't character. be throwing that fucking word fat around, you know? People are more sensitive these days. I guess. Damn. It's okay, Johnny. You're a little overweight. It's fine. Yeah, I'm working on it. I've I dropped it. seven pounds. So I got back. So I'm congratulating. Come on, round of applause for Johnny. That Come on, yeah. I dropped more weight, but I'm working on it. Wait, you <laughs> dropped your son? How how much? Yeah, how about that weight? family son? That's a little weight off your back, right? <laughs> All right. And he shit himself. His oh, pamper. Man. Almost had a blowout. Hmm. He's traumatized. And uh, I traumatized him for life, and I can't wait to try to explain it to him when he's older. Hmm. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> Thank you. That, that I mean, man actually... That's really strange. I was trying. I was thinking. Yeah, that is number two in Auburn. I was trying to think are, like why. So how I mean, did guess kids, though? Because they like a job. They, they're with a teacher all the time, and children are stupid. I'll like, tell you this: when I was like when I was younger, uh-huh. and I you don't really get have like a concept of how much money things make. Yeah, yeah. I remember being like, teachers make enough money to live, and they don't have to work in the summer. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a good, good fucking schedule, thing. and Yo. they're in charge. They're like they're not, not really. Cool. That never made, I never had shit. that. Not, not a substitute. No, <laughs> they don't get no respects. So. <laughs> but I was I was literally just like, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember thinking I would be a teacher because they have the summers off and I yeah. just need to have life. The fucking gym yeah. teachers, the gold dog. Good I still want to be a well, professional yeah. athlete. Is up there and all these and musician. So it is like it's really just teacher, Damn. and then performances and then astronaut. But number one, fucking YouTube star. That's what I'm, what I'm saying is now, astronauts got to start getting on YouTube, getting those hits up. Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, they got to be a little bit better, They got to make those videos fast. They got like if eight astronauts hour were on YouTube, like I need an astronaut. Like, their videos are so low res that people think they're not real. It's all <laughs> that, thank you. Thank you. I heard I heard that Stanley Kubrick fucking fake Jake fucking Paul's uh, suicide farce yeah, that's, video. Yeah, uh, he did. <laughs> wow. Uh so yeah, I want to see a fucking astronaut giving me a t- makeup tutorial. Mm-hmm. I want to see him unboxing some fucking astronaut shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I want I want to see them. I want to see an astronaut take a shit in space. I I pay to see that. What? I want to know how they do that, like on the spaceship without the suit. How do you? It's like a suction thing. I think that sucks the shit out their ass. It's true. Oh, <laughs> damn, I'm not really? sure. I think I just made that up. Yeah, just made the most definitely sense just made that. I just made. I, I, think no, so. it's, I it's believe true. it 100. percent I used to be an astronaut. Yeah. Look up how astronauts poop. Without the and suit. we're going to end on that tonight. I'll be honest. That might be enough to scare off some of the kids. Yeah. Maybe some of them like it. I feel like enough. YouTube vloggers probably have like good toilets. You know what I mean? I wouldn't they can mi- shit while they vlog, no, man. They don't. They have carpeted bathrooms. Ew. I think a lot of the vlogger YouTuber thing, though, and why it's so high on these things, is because like kids don't leave the house as much as they used no, to. You used to want to be out all the time, yeah, and YouTube uh, vloggers work in the house. Oh, you got some deadbeat parents, but niece and nephew wanted to go like, out today. My brother's like, oh, the nice. number one is Dangerous laziness. Like, what? That was an excuse he used. Just guys. Your brother's a creep. That's, yeah. Bronx I can't Johnny. Even go into the fucking They were levels. playing laser tag inside the house. The levels of Bronx Johnny fucking having to play with wrestling action figures while fucking his brother's doing all sorts of fucking nonsense in the other room <laughs> to distract his niece and nephew. Paper I'll face. be honest, you know, maybe we give you a lot of shit, but I think you're going to be a good dad. It's, it's all, that's what I'm really oh, saying. I'm going to go ahead and appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, he Paper face, me. Bronx Johnny, Same, this, this is what we're telling you. You guys got to raise your kids right. Why is uh, Luke outside of the studio just like an Asian Parker Lewis? Because that's what he is. Damn, son. You got to sure keep him. Bad 90s, bro. Keep yeah. him off YouTube. Yeah. Just oh, have, he's on there already. Have him watch. These are the things. Well, only watch things from the 60s. So nah, this, this, right. No, hold, 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 let me Go finish. Except for the moon landing video because it was fake. Hold on. <laughs> you watch the. You let him watch uh, the Beatles on Ed Sullivan. Okay. What? The moon landing. And there's a Bruder film. Those three things. On loop. On loop. And then just give him a copy of Catcher in the Rye and okay. we'll just let fucking nature take its course. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I was just and gonna have a and, and you're gonna raise him right. And then you just be like, For yo, real. 
Fuck all of them niggas. <laughs> Yo, if my son gets more followers than me, it's a rap. Oh, Look, it's over. Oh, you're gonna have to fuck him up. Post yeah. the face yeah, is gonna. Fuck him up. You mean you're gonna have to do a versus comment? Huh? Post the face is <laughs> grow up to be a paper boy into a paper man. Wow. Oh. Wow. That's deep. I hope he's not a paper man. Paper man. Okay. Okay. It's the Real Ass Podcast. It's your boy, Louis J. Gomez. We're a Real Estate, Real Ass Dude, Ultimate Minority, Joint Jet of Comedy. I got a lot of names. He's like, B, you're, the, you're just good as you are. No. B, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I <laughs> should always transform myself into something better. Of course. That's how I became a comedian. That's how I did everything. So there's too much of this weird shit where it's people that are like, no, I'm 700 pounds and beautiful. No, that's no, disgusting. You're not. No. no, you're not. That's okay. Yeah. And, and also, here's the thing that, you know, if you are fat and you don't want to get in shape, that's also fine. Who gives a shit? But you have to right. admit that you've given up on something. You have yes. to be comfortable. Like I, the day that I said, oh, I am a really fat man was when I was trying to do pull-ups on SDR and I saw a side view of myself Yeah, and it nauseated me and that was my motivation to start losing weight. Yeah. But if you're okay with it, then you're okay with it. Who gives a shit? Yeah. I, I just don't, I'm not okay with it anymore. I mean, one of the, one, one wake up call for me was I was having dinner in a restaurant and the woman just came up unprompted and went, is the chair okay? No. <laughs> I swear to God. She's like, would you like another chair? We could bring yeah. in, you know, a, a lazy boy if you'd, and you know. So I was just like, I got to fucking change. You got to change. And also, it's very yeah. symbolic when you're in shape. This is the way, no matter what I I take from this, okay? And I, I'm trying to get back in shape now. I, I just came back from Hawaii. I actually did pretty good. All things considered, I didn't eat yeah, bad the whole didn't time. Crazy. But I didn't exercise the way I've been exercising. Right. I didn't diet the way that I've been dieting. It's the Real Ass Podcast. That's also, where racism, that's also where racism comes in because yeah. you get an upgrade. I get it nicer and he doesn't. Lewis has to work. Yeah. They'll be like, like, can you cover a shift in the yeah. restaurant? Yeah. Do you mind? Dude, it's, I, I mean, I'm not doing it anymore. Expedia. I had a, bo- I had a up, bottle of champagne at the hotel room. You got to book direct. And it said, thanks for being uh, Expedia VIP. So I, how many points do you fucking have, dude? I don't fly that much. You guys know every I time fly I way more. Yeah. I know. I have nothing on Expedia, and I've used them. I looked at my points, and they're like, do you want to cash them in? I'm like, what would it equate? It was literally like $19. I have $4 on it's Expedia crazy. right now. $4. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. The amount of money. And then you. And then here's the other problem. I've, I've had a few situations recently where I've had to change the flight. That's a horrible. That's a shit show. The and, worst. And then doing it through Expedia, it's they like, they won't do it. They're they like, hey, it. just so you know, you have to call seven airlines, yeah. and just so you know, you didn't go through them, so you are not a fucking priority at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just it's fucking... rough. Yeah, I'm not You got to explain to the airline that you use Expedia. They're like, did you book it through a third party? You're like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I booked it I through Expedia. I lied. This is the move. I'm, I'm, I'm white trash. This is the move. Yeah. You, know, you know, actually, I don't know. My assistant did it. Oh! <laughs> Skin that you, baby boy. Say, well, then why isn't your fucking assistant calling Wouldn't it be funny if they were like this? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if they were like this? Shut up, you spit. <laughs> and you're like, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, because See that? Uh, Kamiya Wait was Sacagawea's brother. Kamiya Wait? Yeah. Sacagawea had a kid, right? Um, so the pussy was fucked up. Lizette, yeah, her daughter Lizette Charbonneau. Oh, is that? Lizette Charbonneau? Yeah, good afternoon. This What's up, desk. y'all? It's me. This is Sacagawea's daughter. <laughs> this is desk <laughs> Lizette Charbonneau. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis and Clark's expedition is mm-hmm. currently closed. <laughs> if you would like to leave a message, please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> like, uh, is this a recording? <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> so you're there right now? Yes, but beep. Current- beep. <laughs> I'm, what I meant to say was beep. <laughs> <laughs> Lizette motherfucking Sharpano. <laughs> that is awesome. So a French a French trapper must have knocked up. Yeah, that sounds French. Lizette Charbonneau. Yeah. I bet so, you she was pretty hot if she was, was French. Twa- Toisson Charbonneau's daughter. Toisson. Yeah. Nice. Good afternoon. You reached the desk of Lizette Charbonneau. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sacagawea's daughter. This is Sacagawea's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to leave a message, please hang up. <laughs> You call us back when we are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> Damn, that would be the move. Mm-hmm. Good na- Good afternoon. You've reached the office of of uh, uh, <laughs> a, a G. Uh, hmm, what's a good name? Uh, 
for just what? Just any name? It's just any name, yeah. Sometimes I, I, I have too many options. <laughs> yeah. mm. It's like trying to pick what to watch on Netflix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know which way you're trying good, to go Good for afternoon. It. You've reached a desk of... Uh, uh, Shaman Sha- Ultra Soft. <laughs> oh, okay. Shaman. Sha- Shaman. Ultra- You've reached the desk of Shaman Ultra Soft. Mm-hmm. If you'd like to leave a message, please hang up and call us back when we are closed. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Just hanging up every call like that. <laughs> like I've been like, uh, Charmaine, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Have you been <laughs> directing? Customers to call back when we're closed to leave a message. If they would like to leave a message, yes, Philip. Is there a problem with that? Uh, well, you should be taking the calls. Am I not taking the calls? Well, you're you're taking the calls, but technically, and then, yes. And then what am I? What then? What am I doing? Well, the call has been taken, hasn't it? Their Philip? call was taken, and I gave them an option. <laughs> if they would like to leave a message, they can call back when we're closed. Then I, w- I what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to not take the calls? Or take the calls. These are your rules. <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to... I don't want this to turn into an HR thing again, so... I'm going to go hang out by the candy machine and just uh, wait until this government contract ends. <laughs> and they fire us all. Damn, that would be the life of getting being a government contractor, dude. Yeah. You don't have to do shit. I then guess, we can end yeah. it. I guess it's because we only have, like, sub-launched missiles now. That's where, like, development went. But, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't fuck. I'm, this is shit that I would, like, read about when I was, like, 11. Yeah. You know, and I thought it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like weapons. <laughs> yeah. Did you like that show with that guy from uh, Full Metal Jacket? A snafu. Wasn't it, like, uh, it was, like, on TLC or something? Yeah, it was Mail about- Call. It was a mail, mail Call, yeah, Mail yeah. Call, yeah. Yeah. With uh, Arlie Ermey. Arlie Ermey, yeah. Heads up, faggot! We got new <laughs> missiles we're talking about today. But was he in this the This ain't actually? ancient aliens, yeah, he homo. Was. He was. At- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay, Arlie, we're going to have you scale it Just back a bit. no slurs, Army. Yeah, yeah you can shout still. I'm going to cut off your ass and fuck it in front of your son. <laughs> <laughs> you don't write in and tell us what your favorite episode was. <laughs> R.I.P. to the legend. Yeah, he was awesome. He yeah, he was died cool. in the last year or two. Yeah. Right? I love stories like that. Like, fucking Kubrick was like, yeah, we need a guy to consult on, like, what drill sergeants are like. And then just like, oh, just be in the movie. Yeah, 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 you, you just do just, it. You, you rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that he spent, like, years just in fucking, I don't know, where is it? Paris Island or wherever the fuck those guys go. I don't know. To do uh, marine kindergarten. Yelling That's what at I them. call it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's easy, dude. Yeah. I call it kindergarten oh, for you babies. Didn't, mm-hmm. Yeah, baby I baby thought it's Marines. by San Diego. Isn't that where the Marines are? I don't know, man. Right. Whatever. Don't worry. I think you go to Paris Island. It sounds French. French. Hey, dude. Yeah, it's in France. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it was weird that they trained the Marines in France, but... Mm. Yeah. They teach them the art of seduction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Drop and suck my penis, cadet. Mm-hmm. Drop and eat my ass out. Paris Island. Is that in Texas, Paris? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I was laughing pretty hard imagining a, an aggressively gay Michael Rooker the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you fuck me in my ass, Jew boy? Is Mississippi burning? <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh huh. That's a good shit. Eh? Your officers are in the KKK and they're going around forcing people to fuck them in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is Mississippi. We don't need the federal government coming down here and telling anybody how to live their life. <laughs> That would be awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just forcing... Mississippi burning, but it's a bunch of like a secret gay society. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The KKK. <laughs> and it's forcing, forcing civil rights workers into sodomizing them. Yep. To get topped by them. Yeah. I'm gonna do that, dude. Those boys caused this problem themselves coming down here. <laughs> Listen, I'm from a little town like this. I used to get fucked in my ass every day. <laughs> they come down here with a big, juicy northern cocks. You know, 
You want to know why I moved away from Mississippi? <laughs> Everybody kept wanting me to fuck them in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't from around here no more. <laughs> you a shitty slicker like the rest of them. <laughs> God damn it, fuck me in my ass. <laughs> Come here, circle lips. <laughs> Why don't you come here and smooch me on the lips? <laughs> Just smooch me on the cock, sugar lips. <laughs> God damn it, I'm a baby. God damn it, I'm a baby. <laughs> big tits. <laughs> I'm a fucking big tits baby. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I laugh about that shit all the time, dude. Just his face on a baby yeah, with that, giant that's tits. That's one of the best. My tits are so goddamn swollen. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> and then little golden cats that wave at you. Well, I'm really into Guzheng music now. What? Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> that fucked up fucked Chinese, up Chinese guitar. guitar. Bang, bang, bang. It's soothing. Yeah. That shit sucks, dude. <laughs> no, it rules. No, it's bad. I like it it's a lot. Too, well, it's his, too his, severe. I don't know if it's good or bad. You know? Right. I don't speak Chinese. Right. right. I can't tell. I don't oh, know no. This music. is all instrumental. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah. No, I, unless you speak Chinese, you don't get it. It's, it's the like, rhythms. It's like the Chinese bang, rhythms. Bang, bang, shit, and then a guy that's like, breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> ding, ding, breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> I would listen to the fuck out of yeah. that, dude. Yeah. Tay's an old Jewish guy. <laughs> you should. You should. How big are they? The taser? Yeah. Or the producers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, like fuck. the size of my hand. Okay. That was funnier yeah, than that's anything that's Adam funky. said. Yeah. yeah. On the show. <laughs> that was pretty Yeah, good. it's so nice to have someone you respect on the pod. Yeah, it is nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's good to be here. <laughs> you should stay in Africa. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope Adam's playing crash. The chimpanzee family. <laughs> yeah. The toucan and the chimpanzee. <laughs> Baboon. That, that is who his grandmother is. Yeah, it's Rafiki. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all yeah. a bunch. One of... day you will be a giant faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Paints his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. this all Adam's, this Adam's will be dad yours. Adam's dad brought him up to the edge of a, yeah. a rock, yeah. and he lifted it up, and he's like, "Look how gay he is." Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> like, "He's okay." <laughs> all of this will be yours. Don't go there. That's where people have sex with women. <laughs> 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 Gay ass Adam watching hyenas fuck women and getting scared. <laughs> uh, say whatever. The February was great. What was I it? forget. Mm. It was really good. Featherberry. Fe- Featherberry. <laughs> <laughs> Featherberry was really good. Doing like that. that I mean, not black people. The, a specific character. Yeah, says right. It it's a character. cookie character. Says mm-hmm. it that way. Yeah, we ran it by our lawyer who handles racism cases. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kramer's lawyer. For yeah. Him, uh, <laughs> no, I was laughing about like the same somebody done suck that boy dick mm-hmm. lady, but she's like uh, she's like really into the Joker now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Like, I was telling Sybil just the other day. You know, I see myself as like, a, like an agent of chaos. <laughs> you know, I just want to see this world burn. I just, I, yeah, I just, I would like to see the world burn. <laughs> and me and Sharice, we went to Pilates last week, and I told her I cannot wait to kill myself. <laughs> you know, because I'm twisted. <laughs> I'm twisted, and I'm psycho. <laughs> Oh uh, mm. fuck! I, I, love I love old ladies I love getting a the dumb young guy shit. In the morning, you know, mm-hmm. just I start my day off. I let myself have one. I got a culotta <laughs> and a cinnamon roll, and that's it. I'm done with sweets for the day mm-hmm. because I'm I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's like why so serious? <laughs> it's pretty good. Why are you so serious? <laughs> That's such yeah, a fun voice to do. It really is. The shaking is the best part, though. No, the quivering. Wait, that's, a different, yeah. that's a different. That's a different. Lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it a black lady or a black no, man? A black I, man. I always assume it's, it's like Terrence a fat Howard. light it's skinned like guy. Old yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're watching a. Yeah, I'm gay. Oh, I'm <laughs> so gay. <laughs> the All in the Family pilot. <laughs> I was trying to shield it from my why shit there, particles in my why mouth. Why is there a dude? bunch of uh, Sour Patch Kids all over my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it looks like you dipped it in honey. Yeah. <laughs> you just take it out. Yeah, yeah. It's a honey wand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, fuck, dude. I've been brushing. I've been getting my oral hygiene back up, you know. Mm. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Self-care. Mm. I can Any only reason? do certain I things. Tell you, there's two things I love. Brushing my teeth. Mm-hmm. And just killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> Putting a gun in my motherfucking mouth and saying, do it, bitch. <laughs> you know, I look in the mirror and I say, I don't need this world. Oh, uh, man. Have a nice little tapioca pudding for lunch sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, because that's it. And then I'm done with sugar. I thought I thought you I thought you were done earlier. <laughs> no, <laughs> never done. <laughs> she cheats. She's it. like you. <laughs> she and that's it. I cut it off right there at lunch. <laughs> never again. Not another one. Uh, fuck. My afternoon culotte. <laughs> <laughs> but that's coffee. But, you no, see, that's it, for energy. Different. Yeah, because you need a little pick me up. I say, <laughs> let me get a Dunkachino, and let me put my makeup on. And I ask people, you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> because you don't. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to know. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Ben's penis to put on my Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> dip his penis in the makeup. I got it from the particularly you know, you, porous yeah, yeah. dickhead. Why? So... <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, bitch! I'm gonna make this dick disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm so sleepy. Oh shit! I just yeah. realized the Joker did the pencil thing from John Wick. It's suicidal. Quicker before John Wick did. No, John Wick is the original. No, remember the Joker kills the guy with a pencil. The only reason I was thinking of that is because you, I was, I was imagining you sucking a dick like that pencil. Yeah, John Dick. John Dick, there we go. He's like, uh, do you have any idea whose dick you suck? (laughs) (laughs) You sucked my dog's dick. (laughs) That was my wife's dog that she gave me before she died in a dick sucking accident. (laughs) And she also had a dick. (laughs) This is cool. Doing backflips or a nightclub, sucking every guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Baba Gay guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baba Gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Baba Gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, sometimes this show it'll peter out. And it's like, what are we doing anymore? And it's like, and then you hit is. John Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll smile for the rest of the day. I'll, believe, yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> About 30 seconds till hard. <laughs> you know what? I take back my plastic surgery choice. I want a little countdown clock above my dick. <laughs> What's it going down to? Either until, until I bust hard. or until I get hard. Both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it's a different like color. T minus. That's what Buzz Aldrin does when he fucks his wife. He goes T minus 10, <laughs> 9, 8, <laughs> yep. 7, yep, yep, yep. Keep going. Uh-huh. 6. Five and his dick's like right Seconds at her pussy hole. Four, and longer. Yeah. three, uh. two. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Get the fuck off! Me. Get off of me! Get off me! You you're bitch. not Neil. You'll never be fucking Neil. <laughs> that the, the love we shared <laughs> in that lunar lander, a woman can never understand that. <laughs> to be deep and in, passionately inside somebody uh-huh. in zero gravity. Yep. Mm-hmm. You'll never know that. Well, call me Have by your name is sort of about how all guys are gay. Really? Yeah. The more Not me. It's yeah. about all of them except me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I took away from it. Um, do you think people have fucked in space? Of course. of course. They actually did a study where they made people fuck in space to see what happens. Nice. Yeah. What happens? They turn gay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. What if yeah. you did it with gay people? It would be funny It'd to like... Get even gayer. Not- in space, and then you know, watch it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then mm. you get like one of those little Asian fans, and you like you fan it little towards fan? you fan it towards your like astronaut friend mm-hmm. while he's at the front <laughs> of the spaceship, and then when it gets maybe about a foot away from your head, you go, uh, "Hey, Brian," and he's like, "Yeah," and then it just <laughs> right in his face. That would be pretty funny. And he's like, "Ah, the cum trick, <laughs> the Japanese fan cum trick." <laughs> I used to laugh about the idea of like, because you know how cities used to have pneumatic tubes to deliver the oh, yeah. mail or whatever. Oh, I know all about pneumatic. Yeah, and it seems no, like tubes. And no, it's yeah. a great idea. It's way better than a mail carrier, but mm-hmm. like, 
it had to have been one guy that figured out you can just stick your dick in there and then somebody was like richard we have posts and then they (laughs) open the door right in her face of course Probably felt so good. It's probably a gentle suck. Get your dick sucked by the mailbox. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, bet it's a, I bet it's a. <laughs> it's a little too much. Yeah, that's why I'm not allowed to drive through the bank anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Forget my tube, <laughs> tube noomed off. <laughs> I was getting my tube noomed yeah. up. Noom my noom my a, my dude. <laughs> I'm getting my tubes fucking dialed in and noomed off. Yeah. <laughs> dialed in. Now and give me that off. motherfucking lollipop, bitch. <laughs> I'll finish. (laughs) Suck my little dick.